In this case, Michael Murphy really did risk his life in an incredibly um, courageous way. Yes, ma'am. Tell me what he did. I guess we were about an hour into the gunfight and uh, we had been pushed down the backside of the mountain. The Taliban had had the, t the high ground on us and they had completely encircled us, 360 degrees. So no matter where we were hiding in there, uh, we were getting hit. The only way you could, you could prevent yourself from getting shot was to keep moving. And we were using each side of the mountain for cover. What he did was, uh, we had actually lost Danny by this time, and Matt had been shot pretty bad, and Mikey had actually been shot a few times too. We were in a straight line down the mountain. Uh, Matt had come around to my right side and sat down and was talking to me. And then I looked back up the mountain and Mikey had pushed out to the middle of the draw, which is, we call it the fatal funnel. You don't want to be in an area like that. The only way you could, that's the only place he could go out to get uh, coverage for the, for the phone. And sure enough, he, he dialed it up, pushed out to that bowler, made the phone call, and then he took two more rounds to the back, to the back or to the side, I think, to be sure, for certain. And uh, he dropped, it actually dropped him. He stood back up, finished the phone call, grabbed his rifle, and moved back flanked back to the left side where he came from. He got into a, a, a major engagement up there. I couldn't see him. The last time I saw him was on the rock, but when he moved to the left, I could hear what was going on up there. And, uh, he was letting me know, too. I could hear him yelling. He basically went out to a spot, Marcus, that exposed him oh, yeah. to incredible danger so he could make a phone call to get help for you guys. We were dying. I mean, that's what he said in his transmission, too. He's like, my men are dying out here. I need help. So calling reinforcements. 